my name is god money this is ghana supportive group and then uh, i'm here to make some financial analysis for money transfer and how to skip the e-levy tax from the government you know the government want to introduce an e-levy tax on our money transfer and then people are you know complaining a lot on social media people are complaining a lot even we are crying of the um, telco charges and then now e-levy e-levy it doesn't make sense at all you know this um, trend started last year when they read the 2022 budget they included e-levy tax on our money transfer come on come on before that um, 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 before I, I walk you through the uh, the process to skip the e-levy tax let me talk more about the uh, e-levy you know there is a principle attached to the e-levy that um, when you make a transaction more than 100 cities that's when the e-levy will take effect meaning when you transfer 100 cities there won't be any e-levy tax or anything that's that's where um, my process of skipping e-levy will make sense yeah because this principle will, ha will help us to, uh, to skip the e-levy that means when you when you transfer or make a transaction of 101 city there will be an e-levy tax on the one city not the 100 cities and the percentage of this tax is the 1.75 percent of the amount that they will tax on that the amount that you transfer so meaning when you transfer 150 cities the you the the, the percentage that um will be taxed on that money is 1.75 percent of the 50 cities not the 100 cities the 50 cities good now let me walk you through some values and the normal technical charges that we know if i were not even mtm mobile money or any money transfer um whether buddha or whatever when you transfer 100 cities mtm will charge you one city yes and the principle of the elev there won't be any elev charge because 100 cities is no more than 100 cities it is 100 cities fixed so you have to pay one city and this will go straight to the telco not the government now when you make a transaction of 150 cities the 100 cities is free elev tax but the 50 cities will be taxed with that elev percentage that's 1.75 percent so you find 1.75 percent of 50 cities on the 150 the average is 87 pesos almost 90 pesos that's 87 um, pesos and then mtn2 will, 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 will charge you one city 50 pesos for transferring 150 cities yes if i use Vodafone, Vodafone 2 will charge the same thing one city 50 pesos for transferring 150 cities then the government too also would will also charge you or tax you with 87 pesos so when you add the one city 50 pesos to the 87 pesos you would have to pay what two cities 37 pesos two cities 37 pesos for transferring 100 cities like for transferring 150 cities this is too much this is too much so we can skip the e levy yeah and go to the normal telco charges you know when you transfer 300 cities through mobile with mtn or whether with that phone or whatever they will charge you three cities for transferring 300 cities and because the value 300 cities is more than 100 cities there will be an e-levy of 1.75 percent of 200 cities the first 100 cities there won't be any reduction so the 200 cities there will be a reduction that's the charge so after finding the 1.75 percent of the 200 cities the e-levy charge will be three cities 50 pesos 
So you add the three cities, 50 passwords to the telco chart, which is three cities, making six cities, 50 passwords. Making six cities, 50 passwords. And you know, we can what, skip this. So let me go to the first point, how to skip it. Now the principle will help us. When you make a transaction more than 100 cities, it's where the e levy will take effect. So if we transfer 300 cities, we can break it down. Now, we can break it down and transfer 300 cities in three days. If you want to skip um, the e levy, uh, note that this is not for the rich people, this is for the middle class and the poor because we make low transaction, you know that, low amount, yeah. So you can transfer 300 cities in three days in order to skip the e levy tax. So you transfer 100 cities the first day, MTN will charge you one CD. There won't be any e levy because of the principal attached to it. The second day, you, uh, you transfer 100 cities, MTN will charge you one CD. There won't be any e levy. Then the third day, you transfer 100 cities, then MTN will charge you one CD. There won't be an e levy because you didn't make more than 100 cities transaction a day. That is it. So in all, MTN will charge you three cities. That's the normal MTN, um, uh, the normal technical charge when you transfer 300 cities. But this time we're going to do it in three days because of the e levy. So we can expand it to three days and skip the e levy. That is it. This is for the poor and the middle class people. This when you transfer. Now, so if you charge three cities for transferring 300 cities in three days, you do the same thing when you want to transfer 500 cities. You do the same thing when you want to transfer 500 cities. That's you transfer it in five days. 100 cities per day. MTL will charge you one city, one city, one city, one city. So five days, you'll be charged five cities. You can skip the e levy. That is it. But if one, it, it, without skipping it, Transferring 500 cities, MTN will charge you 5 cities, then the e levy to will be 7 cities. So adding the 5 to 7, making what? 12 cities. So we can skip the e levy by tra transferring 500 cities in 5 days. You still pay the 5 cities, but not the 7 cities added to it. Yes. So that's how to skip the e levy. Now this is tra transferring. Then, when you transfer, the recipient will also go to the merchant to what cash out. You know, when you cash out, to they deduct, right? Go something like that. They deduct. So meaning, um, if I are transferring five hundred cities, you add five cities to the five hundred cities so that when the person can cash out the full amount of what the five hundred cities. Yeah, and then there will be an e levy for cashing out too. Yeah, there will be an e levy for cashing out too. Mm. And um, uh, the e levy, if you go and then you cash out, the, 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 it is a transaction, you know that? Because you have made a transaction, you've cashed out. So you can cash out the 500 CDs in 5 days too. <laughs> so that the 5 CDs on it will be useful. Uh, so that you don't pay extra 7 CDs. Because uh, you have skipped the 7 CDs for transferring. Yeah. So you added 5 CDs to the 500 CDs. So that the recipient can cash out the full amount of what, the 500 CDs. So you have skipped the first 7 CDs. Now you have to skip the second six, seven cities, but we are using the five cities to cash out. That is how you can skip the second seven cities. After receiving the five hundred cities in five days, make sure every day you cash out hundred cities. Every blessed day, cash out hundred cities, nothing more. Only hundred cities, so that you can skip the eleven. Seven cities at 
thanks to the what um the five for, for, for cashing out the 500 cities so every day you have to cash out 100 cities to skip the e levy simple that is it i said earlier this is for the poor and the middle class if you are rich this is not for you nah because you make more transactions so that's it to skip it and you can skip it that's you transfer 100 cities a day nothing more and then you cash out 100 cities a day nothing more you can skip the e-levy simple at all so there is no need to say that oh no uh, as for the e-levy the uh, i've stopped the mobile money transfer and whatever no more no more tax i won't do again now you, you can still do it and skip it all you have to do is make 100 cities transfer or transaction a day nothing more in fact nothing more if you, if you make 100 cities and then you you also transfer another two cities that same day then you they will deduct uh, the e will take effect stop make only 100 cities transaction a day then you cash out a day 100 cities imagine you transferring 100 cities to someone then someone to transfer 100 cities to you that same day you see you have, you have made a transfer and you have received money so you want to cash out at the same time you made a transaction of 100 cities that's a transfer to someone and then someone have sent you money you want to cash out that money the same day the e will take effect don't cash out wait till the next day then you cash out that's it that is simple you can skip the e it's simple as that that's why i said this is for the poor people and then the middle class people for the high you know class people there Forget your own. The last requirement is that you the only two you could have is to change tax on. So that's it. So that is it. Ghana supportive group. Please subscribe to this channel. This is the first part of the video. Then um, please share, like, and then subscribe to our channel for more social amendment, financial, social problems analysis. In fact, entertainment wise, we will come here and then give it to you. That is it. Subscribe to it. Thank you very much.